Welcome back, folks. Now, firstly, I've got to say a massive thank you to everyone that's been watching the videos recently and everyone that's subscribed recently as well. I've had a massive influx of subscribers since we've been upping the amount of videos that's going on the channel. So big thanks to you guys. Also, if you're not a subscriber, have a think about it. Click the subscribe button. There's loads of fishing content going on weekly, fortnightly, especially over the colder months where the nights are a little bit darker and we maybe need our fishing fix elsewhere rather than being on the bank. So please think about subscribing if you can. Now, this is a really quick tip, but for all you pole anglers out there, especially when you're fishing on snake lakes or you're fishing lighter baits throughout the winter, maggots, soft pellets, four mil pellets, those smaller baits, even if you're fishing on canals and you're fishing for roach with maybe bread punch or pinkies and, pinkies and maggots, this is a tip I think that's gonna put more fishing in your net. It's something that I've been doing for quite a while, something that it was actually me and Joe Carras, actually, Smokey Joe, you probably all know Smokey Joe from his channel, we talked about this a long time ago and we both hit upon this around the same time and we think it's put more fish in our net as a result. It is the secret shot. So, what is the secret shot? This is my standard sort of shot in for, I'd say, 90% of my pole fishing on commercials, even when I'm fishing on natural venues, a strung out bulk, standard strung out bulk. And what I like to do is use the same size shot throughout the rig. These are slot shot, really kind to your line. I think that's really important because when we move on to this secret shot, it's even more important. Now, what people tend to do with their shotting is they tend to place their last shot right above their hook length knot. Standard hook length lengths are maybe six inches for a lot of people. A lot of people in the summer though, a lot of anglers, top anglers, they use really short hook lengths. They want to get that last shot as close to their hook as possible. That not only stabilizes their hook bait when there's loads of fish in the swim, obviously the closer you get that shot to the hook, the more stable your hook bait's gonna be because there's weight around your hook bait, but also means that you get a bite a lot quicker. You see the bite a lot quicker because your float moves once that last shot is displaced in the water. And generally, the heavier that shot, the more your float will move. So if you're using a number eight, your float's going to dart under. If you're going to use, you know, these are number 10s, it's a four by 12 float, so these are number 10s, your float's going to, you know, dip under nicely, you're going to get that little blip that we're all looking for. Now, on to this little trick shot that we, uh, that we like to use. Importantly, again, slot shot doesn't harm the line because that shot is on the hook length. This is a number 12, the hook length's 010, standard winter hook length again for sort of F1s carp fishing. And that slot shot goes on the hook length and I can move it up and down as the day goes on. And I can put that, hook, that little slot shot maybe an inch away from the hook. I can slide it up two, three inch away from the hook. And it's just a little way of stabilizing a lighter bait like a maggot or a pellet, just keeping it a little bit more stable in the water. We don't want a number 10 or a number nine or number, number eight slot shot right next to the hook bait in the winter. It's gonna maybe spook fish, it's gonna inhibit bites as well. But that little number 12, it sort of sneaks in the water. It stabilizes your little light hook bait. Remember, there's not as much movement down there in the winter. There's not as many fish in your peg. But also, when we're fishing with little dotted down floats, you just see that little wobble on the float and sometimes that's your bite. And that's that little shot being displaced. The beauty of it is we can still use our six inch hook lengths and we can just place that straight on the hook length there and move it around during the day. And believe it or not, depending on how well you're catching, you can tweak that shot up and down the line. If, if it's a tough day and you want to get a bit of a slower fall through the water, you can move that slot shot up, place it right against your hook length lot knot. And then again, you're fishing with a six inch hook length. If not, if you've got loads of fish in your peg, later on in the session you're bagging or you're fishing pellets where you want a, a bit more of an instant um, registration on your float, you can slide it down and fish it two inch away from your, your hook. So it's a great way of just getting that extra little bit of bite registration on your float, keeping your bait a lot more stable. Most of the time, your fish will register on these shots above your hook length knot. But sometimes for really finicky feeders, you'll be looking for that little wobble on the float as it displaces that little secret shot there. So there you go, I told you it was a quick tip. 
But if you're into your winter pole fishing with lighter baits, I'm talking expander pellets, maggots, pinkies, even if you're going on natural venues fishing baits like bread punch, it's well worth a try.